I would too if I was the scientist behind it and believed in it and saw that it worked and it just wasn't FDA approved but I could save my dad like prolong his life absolutely dad is that the first dad? time he did that I think so oh <gasps> he's remembering how to play Hi guys, and welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. My name is Kobe, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can stay up to date with Popcorn Roulette over on Instagram too, which is Popcorn Roulette Reactions. And you can stay up to date with me personally if you want to, at Kobe Connell. So today, I am going to continue my Planet of the Apes journey. Uh, I watched the original Charlton Heston one um, last time, which I loved. I was so, you know, I didn't know what to expect, and I absolutely adored it. I didn't know it was so, you know, message filled and poignant and sort of heavy commentary on like the human race and stuff. So it was, it was really, really good. And it definitely held up for a 19, I wanna say 68, but now I've forgotten exactly what year it was, but something around there. So today I am going to jump into uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which I wanna say is 2011 or something like that. I don't know anything about this. I hope I don't have to know too much. I don't even know who's in it other than Andy Serkis, I think, who is famous for Gollum, even though I've never seen any of the Lord of the Rings, but I know he plays Gollum, um, or Schmeagol, or Gollum. I don't even know if they're the same person. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited for it. So for the full watch along, head over to our Patreon. And with that, let's get into Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Alrighty. I liked the original one so much that I'm excited to now have like a, you know, more modern um, with effects and stuff, you know, present day effects and better CG stuff. Not that there was any CG stuff in the other one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's a sequel, a redo, like a completely retell, just a modern retelling or a, you know, prequel, who knows. I feel like it's gonna be a lot darker though in general. The Charlton Heston one was very, um, even though the subject matter was like heavy, uh, grading wise and like, you know, mood on the screen was still very bright and sandy colors and those light greens and, you know, had a brighter feel to it. This is what I was talking about in the first one that I saw. I was like, I want jungle. I want more jungle. And it was all desert. And then I got the jungle finally, but never as lush as this. This is what I was craving. Now I get it. But these are, these are regular apes, right? Are these the like human-esque ones? And the other one, they were wearing jackets and things. I guess not. Obviously. Oh. Which one's this, number nine? Franco. Uh, this is number nine. Bright eyes, we call her. Bright eyes! Are you watching this? That's what they called Charlton Heston. How many moves was that? 20. The, the perfect score is 15. Doc, what are you, what are you giving her? Hey, give me that video! <laughs> all I need is your approval for human trials. I'll need to see all the research. You got it. Keep your personal emotions out of it. These people invest in results, not dreams. Okay. He's testing on animals for human research. Then we gave her what we call ALZ 112, a gene therapy that allows the brain to create its own cells in order to repair itself. In biology, this is called neurogenesis, neurogenesis. We call it the cure to Alzheimer's. Wouldn't that be amazing? Get her ready. She's got stage fright. Is that what it is? Break my hand! Let go. This, this is there's gonna be the revolts and they're gonna take over. It's your favorite fizzy soda. Come on, let's go, Donnie. We should have her downstairs already. Okay. Sedative. What are they giving her? Oh my gosh, is she about to get loose That's right now? That's what ah! Ah! She's not that big. 
actually, we first noticed it in Chimp 9. Uh, hence her nickname, Bright Eyes. We are confident that you will vote to approve human trial. <laughs> she goes into the boardroom where the meeting is? No, no! That wasn't a sedative, that was a security guard gun. She's gone. Oh my God. Uh. <sighs> Find the most cost-effective way to put those apes down. I can't do that. You're the chimp handler. And clean up this mess. I was thinking when it first started, stupidly, I was like, oh, they're making the monkey, the, the apes smarter on purpose, like deep blue sea with the sharks. But of course they're just testing for human testing to be next. Oh. She wasn't pregnant. She wasn't being aggressive. She was just being, being protective. protective. Oh, you're gonna hurt her baby. Oh. Let me tell you what, Doc. Jacobs made me put down the other twelve. I'm done. You do this one. Be my guest. He put down all the others. He did it. He did it. I know it was in order, but oh. Why couldn't he find a sanctuary for... Oh, because they think they're contaminated. James Franco's gonna bond with this little baby one and keep testing and... Ah, oh, it's John Lithgow. <laughs> so cute. So small. Man, you gotta keep him. You don't. You don't drive anymore. I know that. So sad of a disease. Well, look at this. How old is he? Like a day old? <laughs> He's a smart one, isn't he? What are you gonna name him? <laughs> but if a little of the drug went into the full-size mommy you know, and had a bit of an effect. Imagine well, it on- Caesar displayed signs of heightened intelligence. Yeah. I brought my work home. Because he received the drug in his gestation. He's gonna be like the super example. He did the Lucas Tower in 15 moves, a perfect score. <laughs> There's no way for him to live. Oh, no way to live. See, and it always starts with the best of intentions. And he wasn't even gonna keep him. But he's so smart and I bet you this is gonna be the start. He's either gonna start to learn to talk and then he's gonna be the leader of the uproar, right? I don't know. I would too, if I was the scientist behind it and believed in it and saw that it worked and it just wasn't FDA approved but I could save my dad, like prolong his life, absolutely. Dad? Is that the first yeah. time he did that? I think so. Oh, and he's remembering how to play! Ah! God, I'm inside for breakfast. Is Caesar a secret because Franco's not allowed to have him? And like, so he never goes outside? He just lives in there and is kept under wraps? Yeah. And the dosage will have to be carefully monitored. Yeah. Now, if I can sneak some- I will! I'm not sick anymore. <laughs> Caesar! He's gonna go bike riding. Get out! <laughs> no! Doesn't matter with you! If I see that animal anywhere near my house or my kids again- It's not dangerous. It won't happen again. Oh, they know. Yeah, right, it won't. Come on, Dad. He just wanted to play. He's beautiful. What's your problem? It's okay. How bad is it? I don't know. He hurt himself. Aww. Okay. What's he saying now? Yeah. Inviting you to come eat. Well, he thinks that you and I should have dinner together. <laughs> <laughs> He's never heard anyone. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
He's happy here. Come on. <laughs> Look at his room that he's got. It's great. You will place right across the bridge. The Redwoods. It's a paradise. I didn't realize they were in San Francisco until now. I take this off. You cannot leave my sight. I'll never find you again. Famous last words. He's asking your permission. It's a suffocating gesture. Come on, Caesar. Off you go. He's not going to come back. <laughs> go higher. <laughs> He needs to take his jeans off so he's a little bit more agile. Is he growing? Okay, so he didn't run off that day. He's kept living with them and growing up and aging and wearing full outfits. But he's a, an adult and he's lonely. So that's Andy Serkis's face in the <laughs> facial motion Jesus. capture. Come on. It's all right, come on. Whoa. Are you a pet? No. I'm your father. <laughs> this is where you were born. Your mother was here with other chimpanzees. So he can understand everything. He doesn't need a lip reader or a sign. He can understand. Yeah. She was given medicine. She passed it on to you. That's why you're so smart. Let's take him home. Oh, he's going to avenge his mother's death. That's the impetus for it all. What I'm saying is this is a good thing. Caesar's proof of that. So is my father. Oh, there's gonna be side effects, maybe. Antibodies. We have found a way to fight the 112 virus so that it can't deliver its therapy. My father's disease is going to return with a vengeance. And worse than it was. Oh my gosh. Stop! His neighbor is just like. Hey! Get out of there! Get out of that car! Oh, there's a rag on the back. He was washing it. Finally, I gotta get to the airport. The car just up just, you know, Wait, it's the opposite. I'm done. I'm done. The police can handle it. Caesar's gonna come and protect him. Oh my gosh. And it's gonna go too far. This is your problem. You made the mess. He's just trying to protect his grand. Is he gonna kill him? If he kills this man, then he's gonna like, they're gonna demand that he gets euthanized or like, you know what I mean? Like, uh-oh. <laughs> Well, he didn't kill him. He took one finger and he was being mean to John Lithgow. It's okay. It's the same way a human child would have run out to protect their grandfather too, I'm sure. He was being pushed by the neighbor aggressively. Let's just see what it's like inside, okay? Trust me. But he's too smart to be captive, right? I guess that's what we're gonna find out. You'd be surprised how quick they had that. We provide a stimulating environment. He's going to thrive here. But he can't transfer the drug that's in his genes now. But does he just teach the other apes his ways? Like, does he get them all smarter to be like him? Rally an army? You probably miss him more than you'll miss you. Best give him a couple of weeks to get used to the place. Well, we have to go. It's his parents, like he loves him so much. Now he's gonna feel abandoned and... <laughs> Stupid 
monkey. Oh my gosh, they don't even let them play in the big open pen with all the ropes and rocks. They just put them straight into these tiny little boxes. Like cage hens. No! Primate sanctuary. That's primate prison. 90 days, sir. Be thankful you're talking about court dates. You're lucky they didn't put that animal down. I thought that's what they were gonna demand. My father's immune system continues to reject the 112 virus. Oh. Father didn't just become improved in increased intelligence. It's not conclusive, but yes. I want you to start testing the revised 112 on chimps ASAP. Okay. I'll give you whatever you need. Absolutely. Oh, I can't just see his dollar signs. You know what I mean? Go on. That's funny, huh? <laughs> it's an animal, dude. Relax. What about his clothes? What about him? Might cause problems with the other apes. Good. People that are cruel to animals are a whole nother breed that I do not care for. Oh, it's the window from his bedroom. I was like, it's an eyeball, it's a marble. It's the window from his bedroom. Oh. Now he's just got carte blanche for me to go do whatever. <laughs> Bust out of there, get an army, take over. Planet of the Apes. Koba. Hi, I'm Will. Koba. Kobe. Koba. <laughs> Kindred spirit. Aerosol delivery in place. Of course they're not gonna like this. They're test subjects. They're lab rats. They're just, oh. And they're so close to humans that it's just so immoral. Franklin, get your mask on! <sighs> okay, so they they get let in here for a little bit of playtime. Still, it's like prison. It's a little bit of yard time. <laughs> so they've got all sorts. Oh, I can't. It's too sad. He just wants to play. He's being nice. Don't hurt him. He's so cute. No, no, no. Oh. I mean, it's just a trank, but... Jacobs? Apes have amazingly strong immune systems. <laughs> These guys are more resilient than I am. Uh, Excuse me a second. What was he exposed to? Oh, that's what was going in. Oh, the gas. I thought that was the sedative. Uh, like the anesthesia. What's the word I'm looking for? You know, just like the happy gas, whatever, to put him out. Not the actual drug itself. And that's what that guy inhaled because he couldn't get his mask on quick enough. <laughs> they can talk. <gasps> jailbreak, jailbreak, jailbreak. I want you working late tonight. Genesis needs three more of them. Go to Genesis. Hey, hey, what's the problem here? I'm taking him out of here right now. Not without a court order, you're not. <sighs> no, we're not going home right now. Mm. He's hatching a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Like he's thinking or something. Nice. Let's go, Caesar. You okay? Okay. 
Try not to get too close, man. I want that dumb one to get, well, I don't want him to get hurt, but <laughs> I just don't like that he's horrible to them. He's got the bottle opener. And switchblade on there. That's not Maurice, that's Buck. That's the big one in solitary confinement. Oh my God, he hasn't been let out in so long. He's a huge big gorilla. Ooh, the big silverback. <laughs> Is that the one that fought him before and ripped his shirt off? Are they ever gonna talk? Like in the first one, in the old uh, Planet of the Apes, they are just Chatty Cathy's, all of them. So I wonder if these guys will progress to that and talk, or if that's gonna take time over like this series of them. He didn't die that night. He didn't die. He didn't die, please. That was it, he died. That was kind of unclear though. He looked like he could be asleep. No, no, we have to analyze Kova's blood work first. Franklin knows this, where is he? You know, it's sick for two days. Oh! <gasps> I'll tell you exactly what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a drug that is worth more than every- See, dollar signs. What kind of damage it can do to people. Well, that is why we test it on chips. You think he- thinks that giving him that, that drug sped up his father's death. His dad never got sick like this though. His dad, it helped him with the Alzheimer's and then he got worse. <coughs> oh. Get out of here. I would freak out. I am such a germaphobe that that would be my, I would, I would. I would just die on the spot if somebody that sick looking and coughing up blood coughed on me like that. Whew. So the neighbor's gonna die? They're not people, you know. You gonna let them go or not? You gotta get your arm broken or something, little blondie. He's too mean. Come on, we're going home. Come on, we're really going. Oh, I thought he was gonna close the door. He's annoyed at Frango or he doesn't want to leave his friends. I guess he likes it better here with his own kind. It would look like he's just mad at James Franco and like, forget it, you left me, I don't want anything to do with you, but it can't. It'd just be that, because he speaks English. He knows that James tried to get him out as soon as possible. Is it is it more about saving, you know, the plan that they're hatching to save everybody? I hope so. And it's not a goodbye, it's a see you soon. Cookie? <laughs> It was just all part of the plan. He had to just make James Franco leave and think that he was upset. He had to stay for jailbreak. <laughs> uh, I love it though. No more prison slop. Chalk chip cookies, baby. I want a chalk chip cookie now. He's smart, but he's not indestructible. We still gotta be careful. Can't go falling off huge buildings. Oh my God, he's gonna give it to all the other monkeys. I mean, apes, not the same. 
Monkeys have tails, apes do not. So this is gonna make them smarter, but it made the other guy sick instantly. The lab tech. Is it the same stuff? It's like Outbreak. I loved Outbreak. I mean, Caesar hasn't killed anybody or done anything that bad yet. See? That's what you get. Get back. No! I thought he was at least gonna put up a bit of a better fight. Take your stinking bar off me, you damn 38! No! Yes! Oh, I just got chills. He spoke. Oh, I just got. Yes, yes. <laughs> Are they killing them though? Like, did they kill the bomb? Oh no, he's stopping them. Talk more. He just goes from nothing to like full vocab. Oh, he didn't kill that one either. See, they're way more merciful than the human counterparts. Every one of you! But now he died. But to be fair, he just shot him with the water hose that he got hit with himself. I don't know if he knew that because of the electricity it was gonna shock him. You know? <laughs> so this is like the start of the Planet of the Apes? Like we're going back to like how it happened? No one's answering. You know what's funny is they had um, astronauts on the TV before, but I didn't think anything of it. And I like it's just funny that that's what in the first one, Charlton Heston and the other two went into space. And imagine if that's meant to like be them, um, and then they wonder like when their civilization fell apart, and it literally <laughs> started the day they left. <laughs> <Ended>. <laughs> And then they were gone for what, you know, 4,000 4, years or something in Earth time. You me. He spoke. Hell yeah! He said no. Maybe he said now. What's that? Oh, they're in the trees! Cool. And these ones have already been getting it as well, right? The drugs, so they're also got the advanced brain function. Franklin is dead from a viral infection. Oh! <laughs> I'm confused as to if he gave his dad the advanced one or I think he was just like, no, remember he said no? So maybe he just gave him the first one that his own immunity like fought and then I don't think he gave his dad the other one. Did he or is that, either he did and that's what killed him or his just own Alzheimer's progressed so fast that his brain deteriorated and he died. Maybe he, maybe he did give him the advanced one. <laughs> Go, Buck. Oh, this is cool. 
Don't kill the leader. Don't kill any of them. He's got one. Oh. See, they're not horrifically killing humans. They're not, um... And I don't even think that Caesar meant to electrocute the little prison guard guy. But see how it stopped short? It didn't kill anybody. Maybe this whole film has a rating that's not, um, has a lower rating so that younger audiences can watch it because it's not, not a lot of death, not a lot of, uh, you know, gore. I thought that manhole cover was gonna fly into the windscreen and take out both those cops. <laughs> They're on the bridge. They're trying to get to the Redwoods. Just so they can get high and a, and sort of to safety and like inhabit the treetops. Cause what's the end game right now? They trashed Genesis. They, you know, uh, released all of the apes in there. That looks cool. North side, we're gonna push them right to you. No problem. We're ready for them. North I have side's driven, walked, and cycled over the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, there's so many. They're probably gonna get some. Please don't. And don't kill Caesar. No! Get to the Redwoods! Under was probably safer for everybody because they can't see them. Buck is my favorite. He is. See, Caesar is saving everybody's lives. Like, he's not trying to get the cops and the humans killed at all. He's stopping all of that. The electrocution was an accident. He's not. Oh my god. Please don't. No! Was that the first one we actually saw shot shot? Cause I feel like the others got hit with the batons and like knocked down, but that was. CHP North, do you have a visual? No sir, negative. If Buck does some King Kong stunt and like jumps at the helicopter from the top of the bridge, that would be wild. <laughs> Oh, it might not even be Buck. There's lots of gorillas now. I guess from the zoo. <sighs> They're animals. Just let them go to the forest. Let them go. That was cool. That was Caesar on the horse, I'm guessing. He probably died. But other than that, they're not murdering people viciously. They're knocking them out and trying to get past. He's like, Dad? No, no, no! That's what I wanted. But I don't want to 
it to crash. Not with him inside it. Just that sacrifice thing where whether it's humans or apes or CGI, it's that selfless thing that gets me every time. He's gonna die. I feel like I'm crying in every movie lately on this channel. You know what? This is the turn. Caesar wasn't killing, killing, and now he will. Now he doesn't care. Is that Koba? Not you. He's gonna push it off. I gotta say, that one does look, I know that's the one that has the name similar to mine, but he does, he does look the most unhinged, that one. Oh, I just hate that Buck or whoever was that big silverback, but I think it was Buck, because they had that relationship with him and Caesar, that he sacrificed himself and jumped to that helicopter. Ah, oh, love is love. Caesar. It's not Caesar. Koba. My one's a little scary. Sorry. He's never coming home. He's a leader now. If you come home, I'll protect you. He can't. Speak. He's ha he wants to stay, you know. <laughs> He's the king. Oh, Maurice got up high. Oh. oh my gosh. That was awesome. I mean, I didn't know what to expect, so I didn't know if it was gonna be like a retelling of, you know, the original that I watched, or if this is like a start of, uh, I guess, I guess this is the start of how it then ends up completely overrun by the... Oh, that's the neighbor! He's a pilot! Oh, that's what he said that. <laughs> he said that when he was getting in the car that day. Now this is like contagion, an outbreak. Was that supposed to say New York City is where he's flying to? Because that's then where, you know, um, the end of the first Planet of the Apes, like with the Statue of Liberty and stuff. That's a city that fell apart. Oh, this is the spreading of the disease. Oh! Oh, I'm such an idiot! Oh, it's not that the apes just become that vengeful. The virus wipes out everybody. I'm so sorry, everybody, that that took me a second. Oh, it is like contagion. And 2020.
So that, Brian Cox, oh my god, why, why did I blank on his name the whole time? He's who ran the um, uh, primate sanctuary. It's just that this is older, right? I just feel like Brian Cox looks um, so much older now. But yes, that was Brian Cox. <sighs> Okay, because I was thinking, all right, so this is the start of how the whole world ends and becomes run by the apes. And I thought it was about them being, you know, violent and seeking power and whatever, the way that we talk about AI going to take over and the robots being in charge, Terminator style. Um, but it's not, it's that then, it, it's more that the virus did it, wipes out the entire the entire world and then because that virus doesn't affect the apes at all they survive they thrive they've just started to learn how to talk and they they're they're the race they're they're that's all we have Woo! okay now i'm excited for the next one so i don't know if they're in succession like i think there's three in this kind of like installment so i wonder if we're gonna jump to no humans or just the virus going around um but i am definitely excited to jump in that was fun sad i feel like i'm crying all the time in these reactions but i think i'm just i think i get so invested because it's a very active watch i feel like i don't know when you're when you're trying to when you're consciously reacting and you're so invested i feel like i do get affected <laughs> A lot more than perhaps if I was just on the couch falling asleep eating snacks. So anyway, I will see you next time here on Popcorn Roulette for the next installment of Planet of the Apes, I believe. My name is Kobe and thanks for watching.